Beautiful examples of human creativity and flexibility in the form of technological advancements mark human history and will continue to do so. Do you agree? The solar system is among their most groundbreaking creations. Humans' natural intelligence and ability to read their environment have allowed us to fully use the Earth's natural resources, such as water, land, wind, and radiation from the sun. We're happy to be with you in this video. Together with us, Madewell Finder, let's learn about what will soon be Asia's largest floating solar farm. Most of us are probably familiar with the tropical country, the Philippines. The Philippines, an archipelago with both inland and offshore bodies of water, has excellent potential for floating solar farms. Soon, the first solar farm of its kind in the Philippines will be constructed. And guess what? It floats on water. This expands the potential for solar power beyond ground-based and rooftop setups. The proposed project in Laguna Lake will exceed its Asian counterpart as the largest in the region. It will become a global engineering marvel sure to draw the attention of scientists, scholars, and curious visitors alike by the time it opens in 2024. Floating solar technology is a grand idea, but the company behind its debut hopes to change that. So is this something that can succeed? Solar photovoltaic panels are deployed on the water surface to collect their energy. Japan, China, and the United States are just a few of the numerous countries where this technology has been put into use. The Philippines joins these powerful countries at the forefront. For those who wonder, how exactly does a solar farm work? Panels are arranged side by side to absorb sunlight and convert it into electricity. Then, the sun's rays activate the semiconductors within solar panels and convert that energy into usable power. A massive amount of power may be supplied from many solar panels, which is how a solar farm simultaneously collects. However, the 10 kilowatt photovoltaic plant only has a 25-year lifespan, but that's okay. A connection station was also constructed, giving locals access to the generated electricity for purposes such as smartphone recharging, playing music, and lighting the river. Unlike traditional solar farms which require land for installation, floating solar farms do not disrupt agricultural or forested areas. There's no need to slash any trees or construct any infrastructure. The floating farm is also anticipated to increase employment in the service industry by 1,700 jobs, mainly during the project's operations and maintenance phases, and to increase construction employment by 10,830 jobs in the lakeside villages. And since they reduce lake algae growth and water evaporation, floating solar farms might even benefit aquatic and marine species. The initiative can also increase regional interest in visiting and spending money there. Tourists are known to impulsively invest once they go to a particular locale, so it can boost the economy, plus points. The water around the panels acts as a coolant, and floating solar farms are technically more efficient than ground-mounted ones. See, that's just some of the benefits that can be obtained once the solar farm project is done. Who knows if there are more? If the pilot project is successful, the city of Baras will have access to renewable energy at no cost. The battery storage system at the solar farm keeps the lights on for the long haul. The sustainable energy company is also laying the groundwork and expanding upon a much larger and commercially viable project with this experiment. This is why we should all root for its success. The solar farms would have to be located at a minimum elevation of 10.5 meters and at a minimum distance of 200 meters from the lake's shoreline. If you look at a map of its vicinity, it shows that the PDAs are located on the lake's southern shore, from Santa Rosa City to Paete in the province of Laguna. Renewable energy areas will be allocated and granted by the Laguna Lake Development Authority, also known as LLDA, through a competitive bidding process with a floor price of 6 Philippine pesos per square meter. A maximum of 100 hectares per application from a developer will be allowed. This is to avoid hoarding let's all give opportunities to have their own shares. To construct a 1300 megawatt floating solar project on Laguna Lake in the Philippines, Macakery Capital, through Singapore-based Blue Leaf Energy, has committed to contribute at least $1.2 billion. On September 7, during Philippine President Ferdinand Marco Jr.'s official visit to Singapore, the investment business and the government of the Philippines signed a statement of intent. They already shook hands for this project to push through. Blue Leaf Energy, a solar energy company established in Singapore, and Sun Asia Energy Inc., a Taiwanese company, collaborated on building the mentioned solar farm. 
At the end of 2021, they formalized their collaboration by signing an agreement. Energy companies make the world a whole lot better. The lake that separates Calamba and Santa Rosa, as well as Bay and Victoria, would serve as the platform for the floating solar farm that is part of the deal. However, contrary to what some populations may believe, the project has not been funded by the Marcos administration, but rather by the associations concerned with energy. Let's get that out of the way and set the facts straight. Additionally, the Laguna Lake Development Authority has been looking into options for installing solar farms in the region since 2018, and only in February 2022, out of a total estimated 90,000 hectares in the lake, did LLDA approve a mere 2,000 for use in floating solar installations. An investment transaction was signed by Oliver Lewis of Macquarie Capital in front of the president, his economic team, and several international investors headquartered in Singapore at a small ceremony held at the Shangri-La Singapore. You can't say there's no other way but forward. Collaboration with Sun Asia Energy is planned during the creation of the floating solar plant. Blue Leaf Energy, which is entirely controlled by Macquarie Capital and Sun Asia Energy, inked a Memorandum of Understanding in June of 2021 to create the 13-megawatt floating solar facility. Sun Asia stated, that there have been some yellow alerts in the Philippines because of low electricity supplies. That is true, noting that rotating blackouts are likely to be reduced by the injection of 1300 megawatts of solar power into the system, particularly in the export processing zones in Laguna. Blue Leaf Energy has designed, constructed, and operated about 2 gigawatts of solar capacity worldwide over the past two decades. Over that time, this includes 250 megawatts in the Philippines and over 500 megawatts in the Asia-Pacific area. As for their partner, since its founding in 2013, sustainable solar energy producer Sun Asia Energy has collaborated with several organizations to create solar projects. The company included the 60-megawatt Toledo Solar Project in Cebu and 30-megawatt Dagupan Solar Project in Pangasinan. Basically, them helping the folks out in the Philippines is not a new thing. The Laguna Lake Development Authority will have access to 2 billion pesos as soon as work begins on the project. The funds will also support programs that boost water quality in the Laguna Lake region and its provinces, cities, and towns. Concerning this, solar panels might be installed on top of lakes formed by abandoned open pit mines to make use of this technology. A tripartite memorandum of understanding for the pilot project was signed on August 14, 2018 by the firm, the municipality, and the Laguna Lake Development Authority. This was done even before the solar farm was even commissioned. So it's really solidified. All is settled. We all have to sit back and wait for its construction. With the help of stakeholders who are both empowered and responsible, the Laguna Lake Development Authority strives to manage, develop, and transform the Laguna de Bay region into a thriving economic zone by protecting the lake basin's natural resources and practicing transparent, accountable leadership. Belonging to a third world country, the Philippines needs renewable energy to help reduce the cost of its living. And before we overlook, it also reduces the risk of climate change that looms worldwide. After watching this, we hope you understand the basics and essentials of solar system panels better. Give yourself the freedom to have a positive environmental impact by supporting projects like the Laguna Lake Solar Farm. Share your thoughts in the comments down below, hit that like button, and subscribe to your home channel Made Well Finder. Tap that bell to get notified of some new uploads. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the following video.